What's going on, everybody? This is Calcium. You're now tuning into my track breakdown on my new song, Dissolve, coming out on my new EP, Dissolve, on Disciple Records. Let's check it out. <laughs> So, um, pretty much, it's not a simple song. It's a very complex song, and it was it was a challenge. This song pretty much brought me into the world of stereo imaging, and shout out to Fizo for showing me a lot of the tricks, because if it wasn't for him, I would have not made this song. Um, so, let's hop into it. So, we have a synth group with multiple different layers of synths i kind of just threw them all into one group because i'm lazy as fuck but uh so yeah we have the chord progressions the melody all right here and it's in d minor in the beginning pretty much all that happens is just a bunch of effects pads sweeps and all that stuff and i have the sub bass kind of rumbling in I actually have a reverb on the sub bass of the intro. Fuck you. Anyone who thinks putting a reverb on your sub is bad. I think it's all right. I don't think it's a bad thing to do. It's definitely cool for the intro. Um, yeah, so it sounds like this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And I actually use Portal for a lot of my transition sounds and stuff. It was pretty cool. I love Portal. I love checking out all the cool shit it can do. Um, hashtag ad psych. So yeah, we did that. And I did a little Mondo Mon, which is like a panner. And it just goes left to right really fast and goes... And you can like speed it up, slow it down. So I did that on the effects. I used Mondo Mod. Looks like this. Just literally goes back and forth and we used a little bit of frequency shifting and eq shifting with the sub let me show you that's not the subgroup this is the subgroup right here yeah so we did this and we just like play with the frequency pretty much made this chode looking thing go left to right so yeah that's that's the intro it's just a breakdown beat it's pretty much just a just a break beat that's all it is and um I made it out of pretty much just splice samples and Ableton stock drums, which, yeah. Cool thing about doing break beats are, I'm, is I'm a drummer myself, so like, I like to, you know, Cause it's got the it's got the the beat to it you know right here and that beat turns into later on a sicker beat that took me a very long time to just kind of figure out all the ghost noting and everything for it and that comes in right around here on this 73 beat mark next up we have the vocals and these vocals are me actually i was kind of experimenting the song is all about experimenting so like i was just trying to think outside the box and I was like what can I do and I was like I'm not a singer but I can at least try so I tried and kind of succeeded actually and, I, and I'm really proud of what I did but it's a lot of auto-tune a lot of auto-tune so next part we have the uh, breakdown going into the build-up because this is where the you know kind of transition into the hype where the where the the energy comes in and um it's just like a very moody mellow thing kind of like the very beginning of the song and uh i have some tops coming in some percussion a little clap with some reverb on it and some toms and yeah and some sweeps so it sounds like this <laughs> Next up, we have the build-up. I have never, like, fucked around with side trance in the build-up aspect of a song. And I thought that would be a cool addition. And side trance 
can have very mysterious and kind of hypnotizing melodies. So I kind of try to incorporate that into the build up. I just use a sub bass. It goes do 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 do. I love that super punchy feel that this build up gives me. The little layering, the little noise, this sound right here, yeah. Like, I think that's like everything to this. It, it like it adds that that catchy feel to the to the build up. Just kind of goes up. And then finally it's like, you know, me uh, singing. Now let's get into the drop. Um, I wanted to add like a shock factor to the to the, to the drop, so I just had like just blank reverb on the synth, the synth that's gonna hit, and that's what this is. And then it comes in with the boom. I wanted to add this crumble effect to the song, um, so what I did was on the synths. There, keep in mind they're already frozen flat so i couldn't really i can't really show you much but uh yeah so right here i used grain delay and i used here i'll, I'll literally just load one up i used on grain delay i used the um the spray and i just enabled it and i just automated it so basically with the drop it's just a whole bunch of layering like there's just it's endless layers, pretty much. I have this sound that goes. Which is kind of like the basis of that part of the drop. And then I layer it with this. Which is that reverb background noise to give it more of that oomph. The third noise we have layered is this laser noise. Yeah. Uh, what's this noise? Oh yeah. Okay. So this noise is actually a wub that I just put the resonator on Ableton and I just pitched it to D and it came out like this. Pretty cool. Pretty cool noise. Uh, definitely a good background layer for the drop. Uh, so next up we have the drums and the drums are some of my classic drums layered snares kicks all that jazz and yeah so drums sound like this without the synths layered okay shout out anyone who uses a vibra slap in their songs this is my favorite percussion instrument you just hit it it's a good sound, it's a good sound. Definitely recommend putting that in your songs if you want a cool little splash of a sound. So in this section, there's not much effects going on. It's just a sweep right here. It's just, you know, simple. All right, so let's move on to the next section. Um, this part right here is kind of the, the chill out point from the first part of the song because I go into a much more aggressive part in the B section of the whole drop. But this is my classic sound, my classic drip sound that I put a bunch of effects on. Then we have this super crazy weird growl noise. So yeah, we have this sound here that I used uh, serum for, and uh, I'll give you a glimpse of the patch. Um, it's just one oscillator, and it's called On God No Cap What The Fuck 2. <clears throat> so the main sound in this is this simple square wavy kind of... Like I have this super eerie bell melody kind of coming in the background. I call oh yeah, these are just the risers going into the next part. Oh, drums are no different in this part. 
just crazy clipping snares and you know some ride symbols the effects uh it's just this sweep here and we just reversed it and we like turn it down pretty cool sound 10 out of 10 recommend a symbol this is the the misc thing is pretty much me being lazy to organize sounds that could be in like effects or in drums or something and i just have them at the bottom so i just grouped them because i'm lazy all right let's move on to the next part uh we got the very aggressive dubstep part and i did some shit in here that i've never done before what i have here is my just a serum sound <laughs> Yeah, uh, so that's the quarter notes, and these are the growl noises, which are actually the noises from the from the, the B section here. I wanted to give it a little hint that, that to, to what's coming. Yeah, so uh, this, that's that's these noises right. Here. And a lot of you are curious as to what's going on here, and I'm pretty much just using a vocoder, and I'm using a uh, grain delay, and I'm doing loads of automation to a lot of the stuff in here. Grain delay and frequency shifter are probably my all-time favorite uh, plugins, and they're a lot of dubstep producers' all-time favorite plugins for a reason, because it completely just flips the sound into something completely different. Uh, we have this sound, which is completely unnecessary, but it's in there anyways, you know? We fuck it, we ball, you know? We have this super weird alien noise that I made in Serum. And you just froze and flattened it again. So it's this sound, right here. just froze flat into shit and just over processed and we love over processed sounds in dubstep okay let's go into my favorite part of the song the second half um i like to make my second halves of my songs almost like a better version of the first half because i like it when people listen to the entire song other than just listening to the drop or the you know just the first part of the song and that's it i like to make a full song and i like you to listen to it and i like you to, to hear the whole thing and be like wow that's a good full song <laughs> right off the bat we just have some drums coming in the same drums from the intro <laughs> A lot of different sounds going on on there, and that's why it took me so long because I was trying to find the right, the right uh, percussion and the right sounds to, to throw in there to make that that break beat sound natural and more real than just in like a, an audio sampled drum beat. The melody is completely different too. Not completely different, but I added more. Um, more of a melody to the harmony. I think my favorite part in this um, whole section here is when I have the... I used an EQ8 and I just used the Q and I brought it all the way up and I play. I automated the frequency. I automated the shit out of it actually. Uh, check it out. <laughs> yeah, I automated the poop out of it. And uh, the cool part about it is when I do these these little hills here, it it makes a wow 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 sound. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so I, I incorporated that in the drop too. 
uh, big time. Uh, super cool. Next up, we have the breakdown going into the buildup. And it's generally the same thing, except when I go into the buildup, there's no side trance because you'll see why at the end. Um, so, all right, so in the buildup, it's just a breakdown of the drums in the drop just sequenced into a buildup. <laughs> the pre-drop vocal all right now let's hop into the drop so the drop here is my all-time favorite drop of this song it's just fucking dubstep um so we have the classic melody fake drop calcium thing going on with the synths right here and it's the wah synth what a surprise um told you we were gonna talk about the wah synth a lot because the wah synth is the boss uh <laughs> Let's check out the drop. is a recreation of the laser sound I have here, but I just turned them into even weirder sounds. Yeah. And all of these sounds are just like really stretched out. So there's that noise, and then we have this guy. Is that way a wet way a whip sound going on another serum sound are these ser yeah okay <laughs> cool sound that i made um so this came all of these a lot of these weird drippy sounds actually came from my the thwop thwop sound uh this is the main preset for it that i made it's probably four years ago but i've literally just been steadily playing with it every every time I make a song and I've gotten some wicked sounds out of it. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got the Viper Slap. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this is also a very, very important part to the song. Um, we have this the the screech sound that's going on in the background of the the rhythm part <laughs> And that is simply just a serum patch or a blank serum patch with unison all the way up random detune and we took a frequency shifter used the sample and hold lfo and we turned the amount up and the rate up just a tad so that's pretty much it on the drop let's move on to the very end of the tail and the reason why this is this is the reason why i didn't put the um side trance in the build up here mainly because i didn't want too much side trance in the song i just wanted it for one section of the build up and then i wanted to use it as the tail for the final part of the song so i did that and i just copy and pasted this part here but i added a different melody to it uh just kind of end off the song with a the cool jump and what we have here is i used chords but what i did was i used the arp 
and I stepped it up five steps and used distance 12 semitones and I put the rate at 12 notes. And without the ARP, it sounds like this. Oops. That's that, and let's listen to it real quick. Okay, last thing I wanted to break down beforehand, because I couldn't break it down while explaining everything else, was the vocals. Um, something that I just I just kind of made up on the spot. It was kind of all improv. Um, I was listening to the song a bunch of times, and I was like, I want something with the word hypnotize in it. So I, you know, just thought of like a, a you know, a line that would have hypnotize in it. So I said like, hypnotize my eyes. Uh, and say your last goodbyes, uh, then open up your mind. And that was really cool when I like said it. I was like, all right, let's. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm almost dead positive. Like, I didn't even sing this song. I didn't even sing it. I literally just said it, and then I used uh, I used what do you call it? Um, a little altar boy to pitch my voice with the robot. Um, effect on there and you can tone your voice to anything and that's what I did and I over um, processed it and it turned out like this I wish I could show you the un uh, froze version of this because uh, it would probably be really rough it would not sound very good at all actually so yeah that's it everybody uh that concludes the track breakdown on my song dissolve coming out on disciple <laughs>